Hello, Hopewell Christian Preschool. This is Mrs. Morbido, and I teach outdoor class on Thursday mornings with Mrs. Incone. And today I'm going to read a book to you called In a Jar. And it's by Deborah Marcero, and the publisher is G.P. Putnam and Sons. And again, the title is called In a Jar. Llewellyn was a collector. He collected things in a jar. When he held a jar and peered inside, Llewellyn remembered all the wonderful things he had seen and done. He collected small, ordinary things like buttercups, feathers, and heart-shaped stones. One night, the sunset painted the sky the color of cherry syrup. Llewellyn ventured down to the shore with as many jars as he could carry. A little girl named Evelyn was there too. Llewellyn scooped that cherry light into his jar. And when he was done, he gave one to Evelyn. Evelyn took the jar home. And to her surprise, it glowed through the night. And the memory of that sunset. From then on, Llewellyn and Evelyn collected things together. The sound of the ocean and the wind just before the snow falls. They collected things you might not think would even fit in a jar. But somehow they did. They collected the wonders of winter. The newness of spring. And the long days and shadows of summer. Over time, their jars filled the walls of Llewellyn's house. There were jars everywhere all along the walls. But one day, Evelyn had sad news. Her family was moving to a new town. Too soon, it was time to say goodbye. When Evelyn was gone, Llewellyn's heart felt like an empty jar. One night, Llewellyn lay awake. Falling stars glittered along the dark sky. He wondered if Evelyn could see them too. Llewellyn tiptoed out into the moonless night 
and collected the meteor shower in a jar. The next day, he prepared the package and took the package to the post office. Evelyn knew just what to do. When the box arrived, Evelyn opened the jar. The stars in the night sky fell around her. Evelyn collected the sounds, the crowds, and the bright night lights of her new home and sent them all to Llewellyn in a jar. And so, when the golden leaves of autumn began to fall once again, Llewellyn set out to collect a jar full for Evelyn. A little boy named Max was there too. Luckily, Llewellyn had brought an extra jar. So remember, friendship is magic. And I know many of you have not been able to play with your friends, but this is what you can do. Your mom can find a jar for you, and it would be best if you had a lid on it, and you can collect special things for your friend. And I want to see if some of you students from Hopewell Christian Preschool can guess who I'm collecting for. This is a very special friend that has helped me out a lot, especially on Thursday mornings. So I found a shell, and I'm going to put it in my jar because my friend loves to go to the beach. And then I found a purple flower laying on the ground and it smells really good and it's pretty and it reminds me of my friend's smile and my friend always shows up, for flower, shows up with flower bouquets for everybody. So I'm gonna put a flower in my jar. And you know what, my friend takes a lot of hikes with me behind the church. We walk in mud and we walk through prickers and we step over logs and we pick up small students. So I'm gonna put my hiking stick in here because she might need an extra one now. And then, now here's the big clue. I'm going to give my friend a pine cone. I'll tell you why. Throughout the year, we cover the pine cones with Crisco fat and then we roll them in bird seed and then we my friend helps us hang these bird feeders up for all the birds so that they'll have something to eat in the winter so she likes pine cones and also her last name is almost like pine cone it sounds very much like pine cone matter of fact some of the kids call her mrs. pine cone and also Mrs. Pinecone teaches Spanish at Hopewell Christian Preschool and she teaches the four-year-olds and she teaches cooking. And every time you see Mrs. Pinecone, she's probably carrying about eight bags, but she's always willing to drop everything just to help you. So can you make a jar at home for your special friend that you haven't seen in a long time? And you might wanna put a lid on the top or maybe not. But make a jar, you could collect the raindrops, you could collect the sun, you could collect the sounds of birds. But just remember that friendship is magic and pass your jar on to your friend or maybe you could even mail it to your friend so that they will always be thinking about you as well. Thanks guys.